What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. <clears throat> we about to get into King Sid's side of the story. I'm reacting to everybody's side. What else I got to do? <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Um, child, I ain't going to lie. It's like I'd rather listen and respond. But y'all don't understand that a reaction is not a reaction if you don't talk. So, um, you know, this is a quick disclaimer. I don't know none of these folks. It ain't nothing personal. Whatever happens, happen. I don't care. They're young. They got money. They making mistakes. They going to do that. That's what 20 year olds do. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it, girl. Because other than that, I don't necessarily give a damn. <laughs> All right. Let's get it. I'm not saying nothing. Uh, um, uh, responding to no. All right. So <clears throat> I'm waking up to a whole bunch of comments and, and tags and I'm fake and I'm gay and a whole bunch of shit so the gay is this crazy. video i see it uh, while it's I music. Stop being, this is just me telling y'all my side of the story of, of of what happened i'm not saying nothing um responding to nobody no nothing i'm telling y'all my side of the story so y'all can see it through how i see it why i stopped being friends with certain people a lot of people are not gonna see it like this but shit you feel me so first of all this is how i want to start off with. before he even start um for those that didn't watch um that didn't watch the story uh his friend who he went to high school with his nate so ugly that's his name um he came out and told everything about sid and how he felt like he was being treated or um money wise how they felt like they was being done and things like that so yeah i'm just giving y'all a little backstory mm -hmm. they saying i'm gay everything they posting a, a tiktok Wait, so for, for, for y'all to understand what that is they posted a TikTok that I did with my ex-girlfriend that I posted. I was trying to go viral when I was younger. I shouldn't have done that TikTok, but it was a flip it TikTok switch, a flip it thing that was going viral with a whole bunch of creators. I did it with my ex. You can see the video. You see it. My ex was right there. Now, you know I ain't gay. Now, for them to even bring that up, us stop being friends, stop. It happened over a girl, so of course, you know I'm not gay. You're trying to make me look bad. That's how y'all started this whole thing off, to make me look bad. Plus, we been stopped being friends months ago, months ago. And now y'all bringing this back up when I'm doing my own thing. Who called him gay? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Oh, I'm confused. Who called him gay? Uh, He had that picture, Um, Nate had the picture on the screen, but I'm going to let this man finish. Uh -uh. Like, no, nah, hell no, nah, we're not going to do that. So this all started over a girl, bro. And this, th you should never end up your friendships over a girl. But let me tell you how Suave Emma. brought over a girl. Uh, to, uh, a Damn, you ain't cool with Suave either. Girl to the last crib, the Steve's crib. Gotta it be was fake. like 4 a.m. He brought her over, <laughs> be and fake. she came with a friend. Now that girl's name is Kenzie. Now if you've seen me or you know my history, Kenzie's the one of the last girls I talked to. The girl, the, the girl on the vlog channel said my ex, this and that. I mean, not so my ex, my, uh, my, my girlfriend. So this is what happened with this story right here. Oh, Suave brought her over for him, right? And she came with a, a, a girl. The, it, was a, it was a white girl, right? She, 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 her name was, I don't know what her name was. Lydia. Her name was Lydia. Yeah, yeah, her name was Lydia. So Lydia kept, um, what's it called? We, we played true for dare. Lydia goes ahead and, and she was daring Kenzie. Like, I dare you to kiss Suave on the cheeks. I dare you to... But Kenzie wasn't going for none of that. So then we keep playing. We keep playing. Then she dared her to do one more thing. So what Kenzie did was she went to the bathroom. And when she came back, she sat across. When she sat across, I'm like, oh, shit. She's not interested in Suave. I said that in my head. So what I did, I texted Suave. I said, yo, let me get right. And I seen her cat looking at me. Now I'm telling oh, y'all, I swear to God on my mama, on my dad, I'm telling y'all every single detail right now. I'm not lying about nothing. I'm telling y'all the truth right now. So boom, fast forward. She was into me. That same night, I greased. I greased the same night, right? Now I'm not trying to talk. Greased is, I guess, he smashed. I don't talk about none of this. I'm not trying to feel me. I got to tell y'all my side of the story. End up greasing that night. Now look, I just broke up with my ex. I am a lover boy, fam. Okay, listen. Well, it hit me hard, okay? Now she over here, this and that. I ain't want to go back and talk to her. So what I'm going to do is talk to a new girl. I don't... Listen, well, y'all can say cut for hoe, whatever y'all want to say. I, I'm telling y'all what I did. Started talking to her. Not really talking to her like, oh my God, I'm a wife for you. Talking to her as in like, we vibing. Like, okay, you making me forget about my ex. Feel me? Boom. 
end up vibing for a long time and them boys like she never went home from the day that the, that night she came from the truth or there so lesbian shit got it <laughs> we end up vibing them boys started seeing her over and over at the crib like without leaving they go and try to tell me some stuff about her for me to get mad and like try to like make her leave Y'all want me to tell y'all what she said so y'all know I'm not lying about shit. I'm telling y'all. They was telling me she was just with... Man, I, ain't, I don't even give a fuck. They, they, they was telling me she was with Spotty Gunham like two weeks two weeks before. She was at the crib. This and that. They wanted me to stop talking to her. That was the rapper. Okay. Now I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. She ain't just leave my house and go talk to bruh. That's what she did two weeks before me, bro. At the end of the day, fam, nigga not trying to think of my ex. No, none of that. Right now, I'm just trying to get in a new mode and just... You feel me? I ain't give a fuck. I still, you know, still kept her around. Now, this is what happened right here. I kept her around. They know she wasn't going nowhere. I swear to God, boy, I'm not lying to you. Listen to me. Suave starts talking to a girl I used to talk to. Her name is Artika. Curly haired girl, light skinned girl. I'll even post a little snap if y'all want me to on my Instagram story so I can show y'all. <laughs> Suave start talking to her. So Suave start talking to her. It's not an issue with me. I'm not, I'm not jealous. You could talk to her. You, could, you feel me? Do what you want to do. Look, by talking to her, we go on a yacht one day and Suave brings her on a yacht. This is a yacht everybody put in and, and, and chipped in for, right? And we all on that yacht. But listen, with that yacht right there, the music did not work. Did not work the whole time. So we trying to tell the captain, bro, you can't do that. You can't have us on a yacht and, and the music not working. So I said, bro, ain't gonna lie, you got to give us a discount next time for another ride or something, bro. So he said, y'all can have the yacht for half off an, um, another day. I said, bet, let us get it for two days from now, which was, I think it was on a Wednesday because I had a video shoot. So I posted a flyer. I posted a flyer with, with um, two yachts on it. I said, y'all come to the video shoot. We're going on the yacht, on the yacht after boom okay it's video day right listen hold on hold on let me pause right there i swear to god let me pause right there let me pause right there when suave brought that girl to the yacht i forgot to tell you this and i have videos of this shit too not videos of the girl i have videos of me downstairs with the girl on the bottom of the yacht so look i'm with kenzie on the yacht i go downstairs i go downstairs right now remember i told you i used to talk to the girl suave talking to now right Go downstairs with Kenzie in the bathroom. I'm, I'm, I'm greasing. I'm in there. I'm greasing. I'm in there for a minute. I put this on my life, bro. on my mama, on my daddy, bro. She go coming, knock on the door, bro. She coming, and I hear just somebody knocking on the door, bro. I don't know who it is. I'm just telling y'all who it is because I know after. Knocking, 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 knocking. But after, bro, I, I, I'm, I'm done. Come out. The captain now is trying to knock on the door, bro. Fam, let me tell you, well, there was a chair like a, the, the, the door right here, the door right here. There's a chair over there, well. When I open the door, the girl I used to talk to, Artika, that's here for Suave. Not done through Artika all up in it. Artika finna look at this video and be like, bitch, first of all, nah. <laughs> it's sitting right here while the captain trying to open the door. Oh, yeah, they've been there for a long time. They've been there for a long time. I swear to God, my mom, I'm not lying to you. I'm telling did she have to pee? I mean, is that the only bathroom on the yacht? I have questions. I'm telling you the truth right now. So, boom. That's that right there. I see, okay, boom. She, she want my attention. Nothing happened at y'all. Nothing happened at y'all. Now, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. The, the two days from there, when we got the yacht again, because we didn't have no music, I paid for that yacht because I had a video shoot. I paid for that whole yacht that, that, that the second time, not the first time, the second time. So when it was video time, it, we needed 10 girls and 10 guys, right? We only had seven girls in the lineup. Now Suave brought Artika to the video shoot, right? And she came with some friends, this and that, right? Mm -hmm. we, we had seven girls in the lineup, but we needed extra girls. I said, yo, ladies, we need, we need extra females for the video, this and that. They was acting bougie. They was acting pretty. They was acting like they didn't want to be in the video. So what I did was I said out loud and I put this on everything I love. Boy, I ain't not lying to you. I said out loud, I was like, bro, if you're not in the video, if you're not in the video, you cannot come on the yacht. You can't come on the yacht. I ain't gonna lie. The, 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 the yacht only for the people in the video. Boom, they ended up not being in the video. So fast forward, fast forward. Now I've heard two stories. Maybe I'm capping. I heard Nate for sure. He had two videos. I got to look at Call of Kid video. 
this nigga don't know how to tell a story. <laughs> Shit is terrible. But I'm trying to keep up. I'm trying to keep up. We all go to the yacht, right? We all go to the yacht. Are y'all just as lost as me? Because at now, I'm like, huh? <laughs> and I swear to God, the, the girls, they the first three. It's three of them. It's, 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 it's a black girl. It's another curly hair girl that looks like Artika. And then it's Artika, right? So... Uh -huh. They, they they literally are the first ones to try to come up. I'm already on the yacht. And I say, no, watch out, watch out. And I say, watch out. Y'all not coming on. Y'all not coming on. I say, everybody, everybody that was in the video, come on, please. Come first. Come on. Let everybody come on. If there was girls from the video right there that could confirm, they would confirm with y'all. I swear to God, I'm not capping to y'all. So listen to this. That's where um, we, they all go on the yacht. Now, yachts are limited people, so I go ahead and tell the captain. I said, these are all my people right here. After that, I don't know if it's limited. I don't know you could do it. Whatever you need to do. And, and the girls still ain't come on. They were still on the bottom on, on, on the dock. So that's when I move. Because, you know, I'm not going to stay there security. I'm trying to have fun. I move. And then I guess them boys told the captain, can they come on or they paid them extra? I'm not sure. You feel me? I'm not going to spread no details that I don't know about. But they ended up coming on the yacht. Now, this is where it all went down. This is where it all went down. We wait. I swear we wait. All right? Uh-huh. So, yep. hold on, bro. Hold on. Now we got to hit the blunt. Just down. Right. Yeah. I'm, I like the fuck, well, that's We, we hit that. I got to tell you, especially if I'm on a yacht. We know. I'm with Kenzie again, bro. I go, and this is the yacht. I got fucked up. Like, I, was, I had Polaroid pictures of me fucked up. Like, I'm fucked up, right? Uh -huh. At the end, I was fucked up. Right. Listen, well, I go downstairs with Kenzie while I'm chilling and I'm calling. Like, you feel me? This is like in the beginning kind of stage, right? Hell yeah. So, I'm right. downstairs with Kenzie, but this oh. time I'm in there for a long motherfucking time. Like, a long time, bro. <laughs> My question is, why we got to fuck on the yacht where everybody else got to pee? However, I paid for the boat. I'm horny right now. She going to give me some booty. I'm about to do it. Here, I get it. All right. And, bro, I swear to God, the same thing. And I'm 20, of course. Happens again from, the, <laughs> from two days ago. I hear knocking and knocking and knocking, and I hear a lot of shit, bro. And I just keep hearing it, well. So I get out and I'm mad now, bro. And I say, bro, what the fuck, bro? And I see it's the same girls, bro. But this time it was the black girl that was leading them. The the the, the other, the third home girl. She wasn't leading. there the first time. She came to she came the uh, second time. She comes, bro, and she's like leading the way. And I I swear to God on my life I did not hit this girl. I put my hand out and I say, why y'all keep fucking playing, bro? I'm tired yeah. of y'all fucking playing. And the thing is, they was trying to get in in, in, in the girl. I was talking Kenzie's head. Because, you know, you feel me, I used to talk to Artika. Now, you know, girls, girls, girls be messy, bro. So my thing is, I tell the girl, I say, why the fuck y'all keep playing? Stop fucking playing, bro. Y'all keep playing, bro. Stop playing. I'm not playing with y'all, bro. Y'all keep doing this from the last y'all. I'm mad. My hands in their face. Stop playing. And plus, I, if you, look, I'm overprotected type of person. If you would try to mess with anybody I'm with, a girl I'm with, I'm not going to let that slide. You got you, you got to do it to me too then. You feel me? So I'm with her. What? Well, you can call me Captain Save a Hole. You can call me Superman for anything you want. If I'm with the fun talking to her, I'm not going to let somebody come mess with her or try to bully her. What what, what I'm going to look like? Like a dweeb ass nigga? No, how, I'm not going to let that do it. The girl was in. Instead, you look like a bully with trying to bully a few girls. However, they was definitely doing the most um, with trying to stop him from getting some booty. So I would have been mad too. But yeah. Doing nothing to them. She never said nothing to them to be in these 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 uh, issues, whatever they got going on. You feel me? So boom, Nate come out of nowhere. Whoa, Nate come out of nowhere. This is where Nate come into the story. Okay, bro. Nate. Nate right. comes out of nowhere, mad as fuck. And and I think he did that because the the black girl that he, the, that was there, that's the girl he was talking to. Whoa, never hit the girl. Whoa, put my hand in her face. Yes, for sure. Don't mess with somebody when I'm with them. What the fuck you? I was down there minding my business. Y'all came in my business and my to, to no, don't do that. So Nate come out of nowhere, <sighs> huffing and puffing. <sighs> I'm tired of y'all always dead riding this man. Y'all always picking this man's side. Y'all always everything. Y'all never see no wrong in what he do. He just hit her. Y'all always defending this man. He just talking crazy without knowing what happened, Well, So you know what I do? I say back, fam. Look, well, I, look. 
I told Nate, I ain't gonna lie, we all lived in the same house at the time. I said, I ain't gonna lie, Nate, you gotta get the fuck up out of this crib, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And I said that because I was leaving too. I didn't just say that for me to stay in the crib and, and this and that. Look, we fell out over that situation right there. Don't act like I've been a flawless friend the whole entire time, this and that. No, we fell out over that situation right there. You know why? Because I told Nate, bro, I'm tired of you picking the opposition side. Well, you don't even know what happened. You don't even know what they've been doing to me for you to come and try to make me look like a bad guy for you try, try to defend this girl because you taught her fam if i'm captain save oh you captain save oh you saving her without even knowing what happened well without knowing they coming down to me to mess with me fam so at the end of the day i'm like bro hell no nah, well you picking all these other people's side if, if, if it comes to betting or picking basketball teams this and that they always try to pick the opposite side and that's fine you could do that on personal things but when it comes to these situations where it's serious well where you don't know what happened don't come dive in without knowing what happened fam it's like you trying to make me look bad and you don't even know they came to me they came forcing shit on me fam i wasn't out my way touching none of these girls doing anything to these girls no well i was minding my business with the girl i used to talk to and then these girls came and messed with me you didn't know that fam you came snapping on me so what i did is was like I can't be y'all friends no more. Y'all boys want to pick whole side, this and that, over, y'all doing all this because I didn't stop talking to Kenzie, whoa. Y'all hate me, y'all have animosity over me because who I'm talking to. Fam, listen, whoa, y'all say J Wonder a dick rider, this and that. Y'all don't know how what I be going through. Y'all don't know I got feelings too. Y'all boys don't come in and check on me how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, this and that. What if I'm talking to this girl because I'm, I'm, Girl, he talking so fast, I can't even I, I can't even get my my opinion. So I'm gonna just let him talk. I'm broken inside because literally I'm trying to figure out what else I could do in my life, bro. I just got out of a relationship on a girl I really, really love. Y'all never try to talk to me and see how I feel. Y'all never see why I'm talking to somebody. Y'all never see that if somebody's making me feel good, why do I have to let them go? You feel me? No, bro. So all this animosity built through all of that, bro. And cause I cut them boys off because that that little situation right there because um o over a girl because i see y'all picking sides without knowing y'all boys have something against me that's why i stopped being friends with them well don't act like i've been a flawless friend the whole time and everybody's saying oh oh nate nate was there for you the whole time this and that listen bruh yes nate was there for me the whole time i said that before nate helped me so much even when we was at the steve's crib nate every nate edited every single vlog i'll never take that away from him he helped me so much I be editing vlogs and you making him pay rent. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably going to be like, nigga, bills is bills, but not if you ain't paying me. <laughs> it ain't. And I'm editing videos. That's crazy. Paid him for the vlogs, though, right? Oh, oh. I should have waited. This is why I'm trying to wait. On top of that, fam, Nate came back to YouTube because of me, and I never told y'all that. I never said anything about that. I never rubbed my hands on it. Whoa. I told him that probably after he acted like a whole ass nigga. I said, bruh, you going to do this to me after everything I did for you, fam? You was working at a call center, whoa. You're, you're fucking YouTube. And tell him to show y'all this if I'm lying. We'll tell y'all to show y'all this. Tell him, to, tell him to show y'all this. You're YouTube for six months. It says zero dot zero with some sense. You didn't make over a dollar on YouTube. So what did I do, bro? I put my hand out for y'all. I was like, bro, fam, you can't be working at no call center, bro. You got to be in some type of area with YouTube. You got to come back to YouTube, bro. I ain't going to lie. This is not what you supposed to I swear to God on my life, bro. On my grandma that's dead. On my mama. On my daddy. I swear to God I'm telling y'all the truth right now. I said, fam, you can't be working at no call Yes. Call center, well, you too big for this, bruh. And I felt bad from the bottom of my heart, whoa. This man was not even on YouTube. And it's crazy, whoa, that this man wasn't on YouTube. He stopped, he quit doing YouTube while I kept going. And now he's trying to take my YouTube channel away from me. Hell no, look, whoa. The man wasn't doing YouTube. I said, you got to come back to do YouTube. So what did I do? I let him use my brand new camera. I let him use my net brand new camera. I let him use my brand new idea. Find your match. I set up the studio and the people for him. And let me tell you what happened. This shit crazy. <laughs> this just sound like a lot of the shit that I went through. And uh yeah, you gonna go through it and, and and with YouTube and business, this this ain't nothing new. And since I went through it now, I, they'll be all right. They'll be all right in a couple well, days. The the Cardi, my thumbnails not a couple days, maybe a, few, uh, so, so a while, but they be like I said, yo, make the thumbnail exactly alike. Well, I I shared I shared the video on my community, I shared it on my vlogging community, I made everybody share it, well. 
the video went fucking viral. The, that same month from making zero zero every single month, Nate made five. Five thousand dollars that month. Tell him show you the revenue. Tell him show you the revenue so you can see I'm not lying to you. And then, bruh, it's like okay, we all vibing, we doing good, we making videos at at, at the other crib too. This is not the Steve's crib. This uh, the crib before. We making uh, videos there. His, his channel going up. He, he he's finding himself. He's finding himself again. Now the same way you helped me when I first started, I helped you come back into YouTube. So don't act like we didn't help each other, fam. I just didn't sit there telling everybody that you that, that I did that for you. You feel me? But you feel me? So with that situation, bro, it's like all of that shit started getting to his head. Then you picking like uh, people wait, other. Wait, wait, what about Steez? What happened to Steez money? Side without even seeing me through, I'm like, nah, hell nah, bro. So ended up, and, and if they and, and and look, let me tell you another thing. This is another thing that went on through this moment right here. My cameraman, which is Willie, he was responsible for my camera. Me and Willie got into it. I might seem like a bad person. I have issues of why I got mad. I have reasons of why I got mad. Let me tell you. Let me tell you this. Willie, I'm not saying he lost it, but he was in, in charge of it. We lost a, a, a fucking 30... Oh, damn. He fell out with Willie, too? ...thousand dollar camera case with... Cameras and every memory card I ever made of my YouTube career, bro. I lost it. Willie was in charge of it. Let me tell you what happened. Went to, to the store and we came back. We came back um, at the store. We, we, we put something in the back of the car. Then we went somewhere. When we went somewhere, we opened the trunk again. It was like five minutes ago. We were supposed to go to Orlando. We didn't notice. I mean, we noticed the camera wasn't there. Now, we look. We look. We look. We looking for the camera and, and Willie Willie doesn't know where the camera's at. So bro, I ain't gonna lie, I already had like previous issues with Willie plus me losing thirty thousand dollars. I said Willie ain't gonna lie, we can't work together no more, bro. I said bro, I'm losing too much. Well, like too much is happening right now. So that's what happened with, with me and him. Before anybody tries to say I'm a bad person, this and that. Sometimes you got to move on from working with people or, or move on from relationships. That's and bad. that's what people don't understand. That's I bad. didn't if if I was such a bad person too. And, and me and Willie are cool right now, you feel me? This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just telling y'all, if they try to make paint a bad picture on me, saying, oh, I'm flawed to my friends, this and that. No, we had issues because I lost a $30,000 camera case that had everything I ever recorded on YouTube. Had all my mics, had two cameras in there, had my picture camera in there, had my, uh, what's it called, what was it? It was a Polaroid in there. It had so much stuff that was valuable to me. That 30000 definitely gonna make me fall out with everybody. Oh, God. So I can't even lie. Like, you, you just fall out with anybody over money. No, 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 no. I'm falling out with people because this is what I work my ass off for. See, people get the money part misconstrued. Like, yes, it did cost 30 bands. That's a lot of money. However, you didn't hear him say all the stuff that he worked for and all the videos that he made, da, da, da. I will say, though, even if I am responsible for those 30000 and I pay for those cameras and shit, I'm responsible for that box. So I don't think he should have blamed Willie because Willie should have never been watching the box. Willie don't obviously didn't spend that 30000 so Willie don't know what it's like. Or he didn't know what it was like to spend that 30000 He may have spent 30000 before, but he don't know what it's like to spend that 30000 So you can't really blame him. You should have been watching that shit. That's your money. You watch it, period. That It hurt me to lose that, so I just said, fuck it, I got to move on. So... That's why you see me with a, a new uh, camera person right now, you feel me? Me and Willie are still cool as friends, but business-wise, business, you got to make changes. A lot of the people I, I mess with on YouTube, I shouldn't have never messed with them. Matter of fact, we should have just worked together instead of trying to become friends. But the people that I uh, was friends with and started, and started to do YouTube with, that should have never happened either. Just never mix business with pleasure, period. So that's why I'm telling you that part for me, that got nothing to do with anybody. Me and Willie solved that already. We talked, we still ain't got, we good with each other. Them boys, them boys unfollowed Willie and, and all of this because Willie started talking to me because me and Willie was able to talk about stuff. That's why them boys came on the internet to tell y'all these stories while I'm still doing my thing. And, and we been stopped being cool months ago. Them boys want to come on the internet now. They see me and Willie cool. They see I never went back to be cool with them. Now they want to bring out these stories and make me look bad. How did they start off the story? They started off saying I'm gay. You know I'm not gay. If I was gay, this wouldn't have been a problem right now because this all started over the girl Suave brought over that wanted me. And, 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 and Nate, you know I'm not gay because the hoe you brought over, she fucked me and you slept with her after. I didn't know you brought her. And then... 
you slept with her after. Damn. After and I told you, I fucked. And then that's when anim that's why you have some some sort of animosity toward me. And you got animosity toward Jay Wonder because when we was in Charlotte and the girl, the, your best friend, we told you about that friendly ass shit with these girls. You probably the faggot. Don't call me no faggot. Hey. And friendly ass shit you do with these girls. She friends on your ass when you met her in Charlotte. And what happened? Jay, Jay Wonder agrees because she wanted Jay Wonder. Girls don't like to be friends on stupid. So yeah, that. That's why you don't like Jay Wonder too. All that he's a dick rider, this and that, whatever you you gotta say, you can keep that to yourself. But anyway, on top of all of this, bro. Then when when we leave in the crib and shit, when we when we leave in the um when we leave in the um Steve's crib and stuff, when I told them they gotta get out, cause I moved too from there. I was not gonna live in that place. I was not happy with them boys. I didn't want to be part of that where everybody has animosity towards me. That's why I moved out. That's why I kept doing my own thing. You see how I keep doing my own thing and I go on tour and everything. Now they want to bring these things. I bet this is a whole new house I've been lived in. Well, this problems occurred with the last house. You bringing these problems up now? No, listen. So I told them, I said, I ain't gonna lie, y'all gotta leave. Then when they left, I mean, uh, when they left, I left too that same month. It's not like I stayed in that house. It's not like I try to profit from the brand. I don't post nothing on that page i never posted nothing with nobody else after they left you feel me so if i was trying to profit i was not trying to profit there was nothing to profit from there we just got monetized we probably made like what 1500 oh we just got monetized come on now there's nothing to profit from the fuck um oh, okay well, you explain that well still he took the 1500 <laughs> I mean, shit. we left and then it was like two two uh, it was like a couple of days left and i and and i don't know i texted Shanae, i was like bro you gotta leave bro like make sure you, your stuff out by today because you know time to turn the keys back into the to the owner and they ends up texting me oh you saying you made me you gotta show me you made me this and that blah say blah this he just talking crazy to me so I end up sending him, this is when he said he got jumped, because people saying I jumped him, this and that. Send, end up sending my current location to his ass. How much time I got? Four minutes. I'm going to end it before four minutes. End up saying my current location to his ass while I'm at the barber, because he kept talking crazy. And I said, I'm not going to fight you. Now, mind you, we was going to Tampa the next day, and I was just getting a haircut. I got a haircut, and I, I get the black tape and everything. So, you feel me? I'm not, I told him I'm not going to fight. I'm not trying to fuck up my little black tape and shit. So, <laughs> oh, and my camera about to die. So... Ends up still pulling up. Swear to God on my life on my mama. Let me talk quick real quick. Swear to God, everything I love, he come in, he say, uh, you say you made me? He's like, he's not fully crying, but he's like huffing and puffing. Swear to God, I, swear, I put this on my life, boy. <laughs> I believe that about Nate. He look like he do that. <laughs> you say you made me? What the show you made me? Now, I'm squared up with him walking around like this. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm not going to fight you. I said, I'm not going to fight you. So then, I'm with J1 and Money T and EJ. Now, it's EJ and Nate by themselves. There's not nobody else, so... Jeff and them boys was not there. This is when they said I spit on him after. I'm going to tell you all of this. So, Money Team and EJ, they started fighting. So, after that, Nate comes like closer to me and I punch him in the shit. Punch him in the shit, I promise, bro. So, then he's still walking towards me. It's a big guy, you feel me? Still walking towards me. Bop, bop. Hit him again. Hit him again, right? Now, swear he comes with his head down, fam. He comes with his head down and he... He, the big nigga, listen, he cut on top of me. Nate is a huge nigga. And he, uh, I'm on the floor this way now. I'll show you real quick. He's on top of me, just like this. Now he's not hitting me or nothing. He's not throwing no punches or nothing. His fucking head is just on me. He's just laying his heavy ass body on me. He laying his heavy ass body on me. He not getting up. Hell yeah, well, we don't fuck with you. One girl came behind him. Bah, bah, hit him in his fucking head. Fuck you up. Well, he admitted it. I mean, technically, you still got y'all jumped them, but yeah. Me for anyway. I ain't not told y'all I was gonna fight you. You don't want that mad at me. Cause nigga, we said, nigga said we ain't jump you, but Jay wanted to jump then and shit. <laughs> Wait a minute, did he or that? okay? <laughs> he gotta break up and leave the crib. No, don't be mad at me. Plus, we shouldn't. Nigga, that's jumped. Okay. Even have to fight. I'm going on the video. I ain't even want to fight you. When we box and everything, you never beat me. So stop. I don't know why you always want to keep fighting me. Why you want to take your aim? Nate definitely beat him on that boxing video. Now that's cap. Y'all got a video out. I was like, God damn, Nate. What? A little rough, ain't it? You know what I'm saying? Finger out on me. No. And don't try to take your anger out on me no more right now, bro. I'm on tour. I'm doing my little thing. You feel me? 
I been stop, I don't even say nothing about y'all boys. I been stop being cool with y'all boys. Don't bring me up in y'all misery now, wolf. I don't bother nobody, and, and y'all boys not saying the full story. I don't know the full story, so don't come here saying shit without saying nothing. And you know I'm not gay, so stop playing with me. That little TikTok shit I did, that's why I don't even be on TikTok no more, wolf. Feel me? But I'm gone. That's my side of the story. Now, you don't got, I don't know. Listen, bro. I'm not telling you. I'm a great angel or this and that. I'm just telling you my side of the story. Yes, I had issues with getting angry. Yes, I had snap on people sometimes. I'm not perfect, but at the end of the day, I'm not no demon. Don't act like I don't help y'all or help y'all. Oh, God. That's the shit I used to say because, goddamn, boy, I'm telling you. I used to be um, just my patience was just thin. You know what I'm saying? Pray for my patience. I pray for it every day. Um, but, yeah, boy, don't act like I'm a devil out this hoe. Fuck. The, the amount of shit that I've done for people, you gonna act like that? Like I'm, I'm a devil. <laughs> people always forget about what you did for them, but always remember what you did to them. Bye. Or brought you and shared every single video and tried to bring you up with me as I went up. Don't ever try to make me look like a bad guy because we fell out over one issue. So because we fell out, everybody falls out over this and that. Don't Facts. don't try to bring up the bad things I did once once. Things, come on, no, hell no, nah, don't do that. It's not gonna work like that. But shout out to everybody rocking with me. I'm on tour right now. Shout out to every state. Shout out to everybody I met. And you can see, and everybody I met personally can vouch for well, how, how, how nice of a person I am to them when I meet them. I don't think I'm bigger than anybody. I don't think I'm, I don't even fucking think I'm famous, well. You feel me? So all that extra bullshit, we don't gotta do it, bruh. Y'all don't know what I go through. Y'all don't know how I be feeling inside, bruh. I wasn't even gonna respond back to this, but y'all don't know how. Bad and how, like, these people trying to make me look, well, I'm not that, that guy, I'm not that person, well, don't do that. The fuck? Fair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I ain't gonna lie, with these videos, I do have a sense of biasness. I ain't gonna cap, you know what I'm saying? Um, simply because I have treated people like gold and they still played with me. Um, also, this is not, um, what I'm saying is not, going to you or you or you it's for whoever feel hit like ain't nobody got time for that shit girl i'm talking about my life in general and what has happened i'm not talking about her i'm not talking about her i gotta put that out there because you know some people like to wear that shoe thinking that i threw it at them uh-uh i ain't thinking about nobody okay but the things that i have experienced you know people just kind of treat you like shit after you um you know, look out for them. You can give somebody the shirt off your motherfucking back, but they don't want the shirt off your back. They want the, they want to figure out how to buy that shirt. And hell, I've even brought people to the water, but bitch, if you ain't going to drink it, what you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? So I just kind of, I got to agree with him on that. Him not paying them nothing out of that little 1500. I mean, that's kind of like, if they said that they was going to get all the pennies, they was going to get all the pennies. So to them, that's pennies. This man made a hundred K. In one month, that nigga making money. And he's even making more money now. So with that being said, 1500 that ain't shit. I probably would have gave it to him, no. I, I'm, I don't even need nothing from this. But granted, it seemed like everybody was making money. Um, Them falling out of a women, men just should never fall out of a women. Uh, it's a dangerous game to play. Like, 80% of the men in prison are in prison because of a woman. Look it up. If my number is off, it's damn sure between 60 and 80 percent. If you ask me, I think it's more than 80 percent. I feel like damn near more than uh, more than 80 percent of men are in prison because uh, they fell out with a man over, over another woman. So um, it's unfortunate. Uh, but they'll be fine, girl. All of them will be back together next summer. No cap. Because all y'all miss each other. And a lot of times I've, I've spoken back to a lot of people that I've missed in the process of us falling out, but I'm done. So everybody I fell out with that I felt as though I missed and I knew we could talk that out, whatever happened wasn't that damn deep, it happened. I'm done. It was a great conversation, though. Some of the people that I did, uh, we had a little disagreement or whatever. Listen, it ain't that deep. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. You right. Uh, this what happened. That's what happened. We good. You know what I'm saying? So... Y'all will be fine, but we'll never do business with each other again. We'll never do none of that. So hopefully they learn their lesson. Keep it moving. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.